In Civil Site Design, you can use Excel as a medium for editing your design. And that's all done through Excel Link. In this session, what we're going to do is have a look at an alignment that's been created in the drawing and have a look at how we can use Excel to manage and control that alignment geometry. So if you have a look on most of the tabs, you will see a drop down for uh, Excel linkage. And there are three options, exporting to Excel to create an exported output uh, in Excel in a workbook of your choosing with data that you want. And that can include cargo points, alignments, uh, design data. You also have Excel Link, which allows you to basically read back in uh, the outputs in an Excel file and use those to manage your design. And that's really what we want to do in this case. So we have an alignment and the intention is to build a relationship between the alignment and an Excel spreadsheet. So the traditional approach is to start with uh, exporting an Excel file and then managing that by linking back with Excel link by reading the file in and picking the cells that relate to the geometry you want. We can short circuit that process um, straight through Excel link. So if I just hop into Excel link, so this is traditionally used to read an Excel file, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build a brand new Excel file. So I'm going to call this one alignment uh, data and I'm then giving it a, an Excel file name. Okay, so this is uh, control alignment. That's the name of the Excel file. You can open an Excel file to make a link, which is the traditional approach, or you can create a new Excel file. So I'm creating a new one and I'm putting it uh, somewhere. I'm going to call this one uh, alignment control. And I'm going to then uh, click OK. And what that does builds an Excel spreadsheet. And right here, I'm able to control the, the workbook or worksheet names. Okay, so I'm going to edit this name and call this uh, control alignment one. And I'm actually then editing the Excel file. So once you've got this, uh, what you would then do is to pick what design data you're looking to control. So I'm looking to control the alignment. So I'm hitting up alignment control. So I did say that traditionally you would export an Excel file or create an Excel file and read it in, uh, but I'm actually going to do those two processes at once. So in here, I'm confirming the workbook and the sheet that I'd like to add uh, this information to. Uh, or read the information from, sorry, and then the alignment I, I want to control. So I want to control this alignment called alignment one. And then in here, you're choosing what uh, cell um, controls the uh, coordinate, uh, X, Y, the radius, uh, the spiral transition in and out. Okay, so you'll see A, B, C, D, E are going to be the controlling points. And the first uh, coordinate of the alignment will be on row one. Okay, so here's the trick. I can concurrently create an Excel export and build the link at once by ticking this box. So once I click OK, I'm then asked to create an export process. So when you create an export from Excel, uh, you put that in a process. So this is, a, I'll just call this process alignment design. Okay, so what I've actually done is I've now built uh, this workbook and I can open it uh, in Excel uh, using this button. And we do have our own uh, very simple uh, spreadsheet viewer, uh, which is this button here. I'm currently now looking at that Excel file, okay? And I can see the geometry here, reading out the geometry of this alignment. So let me just move some uh, forms around so we can see things better. So this is my uh, alignment here. Uh, I'm just going to open up my workbook. So again, I, I could have Excel open. And what you do is you open Excel, you save it, uh, and then there's a button in here to update the link. But in this spreadsheet view, uh, I know the start here is zero, zero. I want that to start at minus 100. So once I make a change and I save the workbook, it will actually save it and then rerun the Excel link. Okay, so... Um, I want to put a radius on this uh, second IP, so I can say, let's make that a radius of 100. Uh, I save the workbook, and it's then included the change. So this is now my vehicle to drive the design 
uh, from Excel for this particular alignment. So this is an example of how you can use uh, Excel to link and bind designs and with a focus here on uh, using alignments. If I just open the Excel file, uh, just to confirm, if you're using Excel, uh, what we would do is we would uh, basically make a change in here, save the file, we can leave Excel open, okay, but over here you would then just go sync links and that would then execute that change.